Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are going to be working on a layout using the Every Little Thing collection. Now, I know you guys have been seeing the Every Little Thing close to my heart, every little thing, workshop kit videos. I do like to do those videos. I think they're great for beginners and you're showing them how to follow instructions or also maybe people who um, have lost their mojo, which has happened to me <laughs> on many occasions. But I also bought a pack of the every little thing collection just for me to work with. And that's what I'm gonna be working with here is just freestyling it on my own. Not really exactly. Here in a minute, you're going to see pop up on your screen in the top right hand corner a sketch by Page Maps. It is one of the October sketches that we're going to be following. Now, this background paper that we're using right here is a gorgeous um, gray wood grain. That is from the Mix In um, paper pack that is available until the end of this month. And then the other papers that I use are going to be from the Every Little Thing collection and also the coordinating cardstock. What I'm matting my photos on right here is a part that came with the coordinating cardstock. Sorry for that pause. I wanted to check and see what the color was. It's actually the color mint. This collection is julep mint sapphire and wisteria wisteria is a gorgeous it is that lavender color okay so i am going to use that floral paper as the left hand side of the strip going down on that sketch and then i'm just going to use this little piece of the branding strip over on the right hand side i am just going to kind of mount that in the center of the page now mine looks a lot different i cut my pieces a lot bigger my photos are a lot bigger my photos are four by fours and i think what did they call for three two by two and a half yeah no i didn't do that i used two four by fours i believe is what the size they are i'm still going to kind of send them right there toward the upper part of the page though here i'm going through the rest of the papers and the embellishments that i have for the ever little thing collection i'm telling you guys i loved this collection so much yes i bought the workshop kit and then i bought additional um, supplies just for me to play with on my own because I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. I love those colors. They are the mint, and the, like I said, the mint, the sapphire, the um, wisteria. It's just so gorgeous. Here I go ahead and decide to make a couple of tags. Tags are pretty much my go to. I am going to cut one out of a minty color paper that was in the uh, mixed paper pack and also one that's white with. Um, wisteria polka dots on it that was also from the mix in paper pack here I'm going to go ahead and try see how on the top of the sketch they have those circular bits I cut out some circles but then I go and get another punch that's also kind of scalloped what I do is on the scalloped part I cut that out in mint and then I layer them up with the circular bits that are white with the wisteria polka dots those match that tag that I am going to put on there as well I was just kind of setting up how I was going to lay the page down so I am going to put these tags right here and again I did this on a pretty recent video I'm not really going to thread the tags I'm just going to tie a bow and glue it on there because I was feeling kind of lazy. This Oh Happy Day is from the sticker sheet and I do pop that up on some foam tape and put it down pretty much where it is right now. I'm cutting those little circles with the scallop around the edges. I'm gonna go ahead and cut each of those in half and lay them down across the page right there. I had to run away and find my uh, tweezers. They were in my room. Right here I'm scrapping at the the breakfast table. I had moved a bunch of stuff out to the breakfast table to scrapbook because I was participating in a load. Now, I guess it was on the 9th, I don't know, whatever the Thursday was, I was extremely exhausted and I didn't make a page, so I kind of dropped out a load. Yeah, I know, I'm a loser. I've still been, after that, making a layout a day. I just haven't been posting it up onto their site anymore because I'm already, you know, kind of a loser. <laughs> Here's a flower that is also from this sticker sheet. It is going to go right there underneath that photo, as is this little flower up at the top. I'm going to put that little flower up on some foam tape, and also I pulled out a bird. You saw me just lay him down right there. I'm popping him up on some foam tape, too. He's going to sit on the tags. So cute. Love that little bird. 
These are actually photos of my great niece, Ariana. She, her mom posted these on Facebook and Ariana, you see that face? Her mama said, this is the face you make when you get popsicles for breakfast. <laughs> so I kind of was going to do a themey page with popsicles, but then I really wanted to play with this every little thing collection. So I don't end up doing that. This is a layout that will be sent to my sister. I might put a little note card in here telling her what those pictures are about so she doesn't have to go back and figure it out again on her own. But she can write some journaling on here anywhere she wants. Here I'm going to use another one of those circles. It was a leftover piece. I do put a little floral sticker in the center and then just drop another bow right on top like that. It's going to stick down right there. I'm not popping that one up on foam tape or anything. So I kind of stray away from the sketch quite a bit as you can see. It's like pretty much nothing like this sketch. Whatever. I am going to use some of these pearls to put down around the page. Now Close to My Heart does have pearls in their annual catalog this year, but I had some in my stash still there from Jot, which is um, a brand that the, that the Dollar Tree carries. So I don't think I had used these before. So it was pretty nice to break into those and get some used. Here I'm taking that julep ink and just giving a couple little splatters around the page. We're going to cut most of that out. After I do that, guys, we're not going to do anything else to this layout. That's going to be it. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please um, check the links down below if you're interested in any of these Close to My Heart products. I do have a link down below with uh, my Close to My Heart shop. So, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.